too. I have a confession to make. Uh, I've been practicing in my bedroom with my music, stand up, practicing stand up. With my music turned up real loud so nobody can hear me. This is a lot scarier than that. <laughs> It's a little less comforting not having Kelly Clarkson singing what she's up to, you know, <laughs> since I've been gone. <laughs> in case my taste in music has included you into my sexual preference, BAM! <laughs> Hope that helped. <laughs> so, but the straight guys who love Kelly Clarkson aren't feeling too good right now. Huh? <laughs> Send me a show where we can talk, I'm good with that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously guys, all, all joking aside, really? You're just gonna go with me on that? That's okay. You just pay ten bucks to go see a comedy show and have the comedian tell, oh, no jokes tonight, guys, and that's fine, yeah. That's like going to a titty bar and having Kiki the stripper say, I'm just gonna keep my clothes on for this one. <laughs> Bitch, I just dropped a 20. Take your top off, sit your ass down, and finish my lap dance. Because I want to hear more about vet school. <laughs> Somewhat of an accurate portrayal of me at a strip club. A female strip club, too. There's nothing. Male strippers are gross. Well, there was nothing sexy about watching a guy do this. For two hours. But female strippers are just so, so talented, so strong, and flexible, and multitaskative. And I personally like to delve deep into the intricate stripper psyche, you know, as they shimmy up the pole with their titties. What are your hopes and dreams? What do you want to be when you go up? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Well, I was raised in Wichita in a farming community. I wasn't born in a barn or anything. <laughs> I was really good with m &Ls. so I decided to become a better Aryan. Yeah. I just knew it was meant for bigger and better things. My daddy was a preacher, my mommy was a teacher, and most people say my eyes are my best feature. Yeah! Woo! Stripper, oh, I'm sorry, Kiki, was it? Uh, Kiki, Keekster, Keeks. Uh, as much as I do appreciate your adoration for Dr. Seuss, the rhyming you did, I don't think anybody's looking at your eyes. In fact, I'm six dicks from straight, and I don't even know what color they are, bitch. Oh, God. Well, anyway, motor go into a body shot? Yeah? Mmm, delicious. You may have gathered from my taste of female strippers that I'm not your typical homosexual. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate the gay bars. I, I hate Fiesta Cantina. I, I cringe if my voice goes above a certain octave. I have a gag reflex. Uh, <laughs> to get my gay card taken away any day now. <laughs> For those of you who are unfamiliar, a gay card is like a membership card given to homosexuals at birth so that heterosexuals may identify that at <laughs> some. So, probably wear them tattooed across their foreheads 24-7, while others simply spray paint the words I heart cock across a banner, then set it on fire while it's flying across West Hollywood via chopper. <laughs> You know the type. <laughs> the West Hollywood breed of homo, the wee homo, as I like to call them. We have them before. Hi! My name is Bryce Bruce. I like to ride my hot pink scooter. And my favorite color is glitter. <laughs> We don't care about the name, we just, we want to have the same rights as the hole punchers. Hole punchers is the heterosexual equivalent for faggot. <laughs> and then we have the ultra prissy super fun bot fairy gays over here who are protesting, you know, we want the same name. Respect us! Respect us! Res oh my god, do you like my cock ring? It's cute, right? I got a hot topic. Colors match my face paint. Anyway, see you after the show. Respect us! 
You can call my PJ. Ritz Becca! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a hooker Chinese ass what you call it. Because even when we do legalize gay marriage, I'm still gonna call it what every true gay celebration should be called. What every strobe lit, drug dan, butt fuck dance club across the country calls their greatest party every last Sunday of the month. Madonna Rama. <laughs> <laughs> and our save the dates. They're gonna be electronic, filmed on YouTube, and posted on every Facebook page in the network. <laughs> Sung to the tune of Lady Fucking Gaga. Yeah! <laughs> hello, hello, Davy. Except to be the name of the person the video was addressed to, but for the purpose of this joke, it's Davy because that rhymes with baby, which is the actual lyric. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Davy. Please, please come celebrate with me. I'm having my Madonna Rama at the Abbey. No need to get a gift, just give me lots of money. So I can pay Lady Gaga for what she's about to say. What she's about to say. What she's about to say. Hello, I'm Lady Gaga. <laughs> With the amount of money I spent on my wardrobe, I could have gotten four nose jobs by now. <laughs> Sometimes even my silk cannot bear the wood I put on. Join me for the Madonna Rama of Marco Tomic and Zach Efron. Don't touch me. <laughs> Zach Efron is the Patrick Swayze of our time. God rest Swayze's soul. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> call it marriage, call it Madonna Rama, call it secret out, call it fuck me in the year 2010. I don't care. Just do what the Constitution of Independence says. Separate the church from the country and give everybody equidistant rights, okay? <laughs> um, how shall I uh, wrap up this discussion of faggotry? <laughs> Ready up here. Uh, it down, turn down the sweat. Um, <laughs> So it's funny, I wouldn't have a problem with how often the word faggot is used so negatively if it wasn't for how often it was used improperly. For instance, my buddy, uh, recently his girlfriend cheated on him with another dude. And when my buddy found out, he approached the other dude at a bar. And by approached, I mean he punched that piece of shit in the face until he fell. Yeah. You know, because it's the other dude's fault, my buddy's girlfriend's a filthy slut. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what concerns me. What concerns me is that after my buddy hit the dude, and the dude hit the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around. <laughs> my buddy screamed, I'm gonna kill you, you fucking faggot! What do you think about that a second? <laughs> Had the other dude actually been a fucking faggot, we wouldn't be in this little pickle to begin with. <laughs> There's some hole puncher curse I don't know about. <laughs> Merely directing a finger at another man and screaming, You fucking faggot! Instantly turns them gay. Thus distracting them from ever wanting to sleep with your woman again. <laughs> and then, gay at the point of a finger. <laughs> a simple, tiny, completely offensive derogatory remark. God, I hope the gays never get a hold of that one. <laughs> But we call it WMD for sure. <laughs> uh, all I know is when that does happen, that year will be the highest rate of Madonna Ramas we've ever had. <laughs> now it's time for me to wave goodbye to you and say, I hope that you enjoyed, enjoyed my stand up comedy. Yeah. Love you guys, you guys have a great day. Reminds me of fifth grade. I don't know. <laughs> you got